Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Microbial World. Today we will be discussing about the microorganism Staphylococcus aureus. Its morphology, habitat, cultural characteristics, biochemical characteristics, virulence factors, clinical manifestations, laboratory diagnosis, treatment and prevention will be discussed in detail. Staphylococci are gram-positive cocci that occur in grape-like clusters. There are more than 45 species known. They are part of the normal commensal flora of humans. Staphylococcus aureus is the most important human pathogen commonly causing localized suppurative lesions. Other clinically important species include Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staphylococcus lugenensis, Staphylococcus hemolyticus and Staphylococcus hominis. The name Staphylococcus, Staphyle in Greek meaning bunch of grapes and Cocos meaning berry. Morphology of Staphylococcus aureus. As we said earlier, they are gram-positive cocci. They occur singly or in pairs or in short chain of 3 to 4 bacteria. They are one micromuium in diameter. In their cell wall, they are having very thick peptidoglycan layer. They are non-flagellated, non-motile and non-sporing. They are capsulated and they have a grape-like cluster arrangement. Habitat of Staphylococcus aureus The natural habitat is mammalian body surfaces. They are normal flora of the skin and mucous membrane. They are also present in the nose or anterior nares. They can also be found in the pharynx. Enterogenic strains of Staphylococcus aureus are also found in various food products. Cultural characteristics of Staphylococcus aureus Staphylococci grow readily on most bacteriologic media under aerobic or microaerophilic condition. Colonies on the solid media are round, smooth, raised and glistening. Staphylococcus aureus usually forms grey to deep golden yellow colonies. On manitol salt agar, the colonies are circular, 2 to 3 mm in diameter with a smooth shiny surface. And these colonies, they appear opaque and are pigmented golden yellow. On triptych soy agar, the colonies are circular, convex and they have entire margin. On blood agar, they show beta hemolysis and on brain heart infusion agar, yellow pigmented colonies are found. Biochemical characteristics of Staphylococcus aureus. They are indole negative, methyl red positive, Vogsprosker positive, PYR negative, nitrate reduction positive, gelatin hydrolysis positive, citrate positive, motility negative, urease positive, oxidase negative and catalase positive. Virulence factors of Staphylococcus aureus. Cell wall components include polysaccharide capsule. It inhibits phagocytosis. Peptidoglycan activates complement interleukin-1 chemotactic to polymorphonuclear leukocytes. Tcoic acid is species specific. It facilitates the adhesion of cocci to the host cell surface. Protein A binds to the FC region of immunoglobulin G and complement, exerting an anti-opsonin effect. It also induces platelet damage and hypersensitivity. Fibronectin binding protein. It promotes binding to mucosal cells and tissue matrices. Clumping factor, bound coagulase. Fibronectin binding protein enhances clumping of organism in presence of plasma. Enzymes include catalase enzyme. It converts hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. Coagulase enzyme and clumping factor. 
it is an enzyme like protein that clots oxalated or citrated plasma coagulase it converts fibrinogen into fibrin hyaluronidase spreading factor it breaks down the connective tissue staphylokinase involved in fibrinolysis proteases helps in initiation and spread of infection lipases help them infect the skin and subcutaneous tissue beta lactamase inactivates penicillin by splitting the beta lactam ring toxins exotoxins comprises of four toxins alpha beta gamma delta also called hemolysin alpha exotoxins they are heterogeneous protein that acts on a broad spectrum of eukaryotic cell membrane beta exotoxins degrades sphingomyelin gamma exotoxins interact with two proteins to form six potential two component toxin all six toxins lyse white blood cell by pore formation in the cellular membrane that increase cation permeability delta exotoxin disrupts biological membrane pantene valentine leucosidin it is composed of two components s and f which act synergistically to kill white blood cells exfoliative toxin it is responsible for staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome it is an exfoliative skin disease in which the outer layer of the epidermis gets separated from the underlying tissues toxic shock syndrome toxin tsst1 prototypical super antigen which binds with mhc2 resulting in t cell stimulation it is a potentially fatal multi system disease presenting with fever hypotension myalgia vomiting diarrhea mucosal hyperemia and an erythematous rash enterotoxins there are altogether 15 enterotoxins a to e g to p they are heat stable resistant to gut enzymes clinical manifestation localized skin infections infections are small superficial abscesses involving hair follicles sweat or sebaceous glands subcutaneous abscesses called furuncles boils often formed around foreign bodies carbuncles are larger deeper multiloculated skin infections that can lead to bacteremia impetigo is usually localized superficial spreading crusty skin lesions deep localized infections metastatic from superficial infections or skin carriage or may result from trauma acute infection of joint space in children acute endocarditis generally associated with intravenous drug users bacteria can be introduced into soft tissue and the blood stream septicemia generalized infection with sepsis or bacteremia associated with a known focus or not pneumonia is another clinical manifestation nosocomial infections they are hospital associated infections often of wounds or bacteremia associated with catheters toxin mediated infections it includes toxic shock syndrome which shows high fever rash vomiting diarrhea hypotension multi organ involvement staphylococcal gastroenteritis results in nausea vomiting diarrhea scalded skin syndrome there will be epithelial discumation that is the outer layer of the epidermis it gets separated from the underlying tissues laboratory diagnosis microscopy upon gram staining gram positive cocci can be observed culture staphylococci can be grown on media such as mannitol salt agar triptych soy agar blood agar brain heart infusion agar 
we have discussed earlier how the colonies appear on these media. Presumptive identification can be done by the isolation of large mannitol fermenting colonies on mannitol salt agar, gram positive cocci in clusters, catalase positive organisms, coagulase positive organisms, biochemical test. Molecular identification can be done by PCR. Identification of toxins. Toxins produced by Staphylococcus aureus such as Enterotoxin A to D and Toxic Shock Syndrome Toxin 1, they can be identified using agglutination test. Nucleic Acid Amplification Test. They are useful for screening patients carrying methicillin sensitive Staphylococcus aureus, MSSA and methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. Treatment of Staphylococcus aureus infection. Oral therapy includes trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, doxycycline, minocycline, clindamycin or linzolid. Vancomycin is the drug of choice for intravenous therapy with daptomycin or linzolid. Prevention. Proper cleansing of wounds and the use of disinfectants helps prevent infections. Thorough hand washing and covering of exposed skin helps medical personnel prevent infection or spread to other patients. Patients and staff carrying epidemic strains, particularly methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, should be isolated. Infection control programs should be used in hospitals. So, this is all about the microorganism Staphylococcus aureus. Hoping that the video was informative and useful. Thank you.